Did you know that in ancient Rome wearing purple was not just a fashion choice, but a political statement and a symbol of wealth? The vibrant hue of Roman purple, known as Tyrian purple, held significant prestige and power. This exclusive dye was a luxury few could afford, making it a sought-after commodity. Extracted from a specific type of sea snail, the production of this dye was an arduous and costly process, adding to its rarity and value. Purple was so significant, in fact, that it was heavily regulated by Roman laws. These regulations were part of what was known as the Sumptuary Laws. Now, these laws were no ordinary legislation. They were a tool to control luxury and extravagance in ancient Rome. And yes, that included the wearing of the much-coveted purple. The Romans believed in maintaining social distinctions, and these laws ensured just that. Violate them, and you'd be hit with fines, or worse, public humiliation. Imagine being ridiculed for your fashion choice. So, the rarity and regulation of purple made it a symbol of power and prestige, but what happened to it? The reign of the Roman purple didn't last forever. As the 13th century dawned, the fabled city of Constantinople fell. This event marked a turning point in the production of Tyrian purple. The cost of producing this lustrous dye had always been high, but now, with the city's financial resources depleted, it became prohibitive. The dye vats fell silent, the mollusks remained undisturbed, and the vibrant purple cloths ceased to flow from the looms. And so the vibrant hue that once symbolized wealth and power faded into history. So, to recap, in the grandeur of ancient Rome, Tyrian purple was more than just a color. It was a political statement, a symbol of wealth and prestige. These purple garments were so sought after that Rome implemented sumptuary laws, controlling luxury displays and maintaining social distinctions. Violating these laws could lead to fines, humiliation or even more severe consequences. But as all good things come to an end, so did the reign of Tyrian purple, declining after the sacking of Constantinople in 1204. Isn't it fascinating how a colour could hold so much power? If you like this content, please subscribe to our channel and don't hesitate to suggest topics. Also, don't forget to watch our full-length videos on other interesting topics on our channel's page. Thanks!